The Russian national energy giant Gazprom announced on Wednesday that it was cutting off natural gas exports to Poland and Bulgaria over the country's refusal to pay in rubles. It was seen as a way for Russia to prop up its unstable currency and also retaliate against its European neighbors for Western sanctions related to the invasion of Ukraine. It also marked a new front in the war. Russia, which has grown more isolated from a Europe increasingly aligned with the United States, signaled it was willing to use the continent's heavy reliance on Russian natural gas as political leverage. Here's what the decision, which one European leader called blackmail, could mean for the continent and the world about 40% of the EU's gas comes from Russia, but the bloc had been trying to wean itself off of Russian energy even before the invasion of Ukraine. We will remain united in support EEC. Analysts say the decision demonstrates that Russia would be prepared to penalize other, larger European countries for failing to pay in rubles, even if it means Gazprom takes a financial hit. It does show that Russia is willing to halt supplies if people don't subscribe to the new payment system. It's a warning shot for other bigger buyers in Western Europe that they are willing to carry out that threat. Germany and Italy are among the major European importers of Russian natural gas. Some European energy companies appear willing to meet Russia's demand, however. At least four European gas buyers have made payments to Gazprom in rubles, Bloomberg reported. Hungary announced earlier this month that it would pay for Russian natural gas in rubles, too. EU countries that don't buy natural gas from Russia will have to buy it somewhere else. That could lead to a shakeup in global energy markets, which have already seen their prices spike. European buyers will likely seek out liquefied natural gas, or LNG, and bid up the prices as they have in the past, according to Henning Kloystein, energy director at the Eurasia Group. This, of course, means that gas buyers across the world as far away as Japan and China and South Korea will have. With the summer approaching and little need for heat, Gloystein says gas demand is lower, but that will change in the winter months. In addition to buying new energy, some countries say they'll rely on their energy reserves. Officials say both Poland and Bulgaria have fuel reserves they could draw from. Rising energy prices could also worsen a global economy that's already stifled by inflation, says Jason Bordov, director of Columbia University's Center on Global Energy Policy.